It is June 6, 2023, and you are watching The Code Report. 24 hours ago, Apple made the biggest One More Thing reveal since the iPhone, the Apple Vision Pro VR headset, along with its own Vision OS operating system and a new specialized R1 chip to power it. It's no doubt an engineering marvel, and this could be a watershed moment that unlocks a new paradigm of spatial computing, or on the other hand, it might just be yet another VR flop that's dead on arrival. Apple almost never misses on big announcements, but this product is absolutely insane, and there's a good chance it could fail, which we'll look at in just a minute. First, if you miss the Worldwide Developer Conference keynote, let me get you up to speed. By strapping this magical device to your dome, you can seamlessly augment the world with your favorite Excel spreadsheets, waste time watching beautiful 3D 4K movies, have immersive lifelike experiences with your OnlyFans girlfriend, and even record them to enjoy later in stunning 4K clarity. While you're doing that, it projects your eyeballs to the front of the device, so you look totally normal to everybody else. And that's great because if your kids have iPad addictions, you'll be able to have normal family dinners once again. Under the hood, it's mostly just a fancy VR headset. It has an M2 chip built into the the device, along with a new specially designed R1 chip that can handle parallel processing for all of the sensors. It has extremely low latency, which is essential for not puking all over yourself after using it for 10 minutes. It's got cameras on the outside, and then eyeball trackers on the inside. What's really crazy is that it uses something called foveated rendering, which means that it will maximize the image quality based on where your eyes are looking at that time. It's kind of like the double slit experiment. If you aren't looking directly at something, those frames are there, but they're not being rendered. In addition, you control things with your eyeballs. When you look at icons, they'll pop out at you. You. Then you can pinch and swipe with your hand to select and scroll. It can also do voice commands and even has a virtual keyboard. That's pretty crazy, but they missed a huge opportunity here to give this product a name of Eyeballs. But another feature I really like is that it can link up to your MacBook, allowing you to use your laptop privately like in a cafe or on the airplane. But you might be wondering, how would you do a video conference with someone while this thing is covering your face? Another weird thing about this product is that when you buy it, it creates a digital persona of your face with AI. That allows other people wearing Apple Vision Pro to see your real face, like in a video conference or FaceTime. Now when it comes to development, there's an entirely new Vision OS operating system to build apps around all these sensors, and I'm sure a Vision OS JavaScript framework is right around the corner. They also released a new Reality Composer tool that should make it easier to build 3D stuff on this platform. In addition, they partnered with Unity to provide tooling for Vision OS, and Unity stock jumped as a result. But I didn't hear any mention of Epic Games, which is kind of unreal. I'm sure it has nothing to do with that whole massive lawsuit thing. When it comes to games though, there's no physical controller, but I'm sure they'll sell you one in the near future for $700. $199. Either way, Apple Vision Pro is an incredible piece of hardware, but now I'm done shilling and gonna turn into a villain, because this product could end up being nothing more than a dystopian flop. First of all, the price is three and a half racks, and you're probably too poor to afford it. Just listen to the reaction of the crowd. Apple Vision Pro starts at $34.99. Another problem is that it only has two hours of battery life, and the battery itself connects to a cord that you have to keep in your pocket, or you have to keep the device plugged in. An iPhone or laptop is still going to be way more convenient for the vast majority of use cases. Like if I want to take a picture, I'm just going to pull my phone out of my pocket. I'm not going to go strap on my VR headset and try to capture a special organic moment with little Billy. I definitely wouldn't want to write code all day wearing this thing, because it would be drenched with sweat after a few days of JavaScript coding. But another reason to doubt this product is that Facebook acquired Oculus and tried to build a metaverse and even changed its name to Meta and got almost nowhere after investing tens of billions of dollars. Now, Apple is way more well-positioned to sell a VR product than Meta, but at the end of the day, I think it'll be more like an expensive toy than a revolutionary new computing paradigm. And a lot of people think VR technology is a dystopian scam, where the ultimate goal is to get us to live in pods and spend our lives working to build worthless digital assets. Of course, that's not true, but Apple does have a lot of barriers to break down to get widespread adoption. When it first comes out in early 2024, you'll likely see a bunch of insecure dorks wearing these things around as a status symbol to show the world that they have a net worth of over $3,499. Another issue is that it's far more difficult for developers to create AR VR content compared to your typical iPhone apps. It'll likely get easier with generative AI technology, but in general, there just hasn't been a huge demand from consumers for AR VR content. With all that said though, I do think there is one big reason Apple Vision Pro will be successful. Confucius once said, the success of any technology hinges on the degree to which it enables consumption. And Apple Vision Pro definitely checks that box. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.